Good morning, universe, and good morning, world. <laughs> so, Adika, and good morning, the universe. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Spread good, baby. What is up, everyone, and welcome to episode 22 of the Spread Good Podcast. I'm really excited today because my name, well, I'm not excited because my name is Brody Nicholas, but my name is Brody Nicholas. What's up, Nick? What's right up, beside man? me. And I'm really excited because this is a long time coming. We've got Ren and we've got Tanya from the Philippines. Yes. Yeah, sup. <laughs> sup, sup, US. Sup, sup, US. Sup, US. I'm here. Oh, man. Your first week in the States? Yep. yep. First yep. time, eh? Yep. How do you feel? Oh, I feel ver- nervous. <laughs> Being in the States? <laughs> being in, on this podcast. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you meant being in the States. I was like, why are you nervous? No, no, no. Being in the States is awesome. Yep. Yeah. What was your first thoughts when you saw the United States of America? I don't know. I think it's, uh, for us, it was very surreal. Because, um, you know, we didn't think that. We wouldn't be able to visit U.S. I mean, never in our wildest imagination that we would visit here. Because it's really expensive, like coming yeah. from the Philippines. Yeah, we don't get paid much <laughs> before a campaign one at a time. There's a disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. So you guys never thought you'd be here. How did you get here? <laughs> because of campaign one at a time. Yes. Let's yeah, go yeah, one yeah, at a time. Yeah. Yes. So Whoa, wait, what is that? What's campaign one at a time? Because we've actually never really talked about it on yeah, this podcast. What, what is that? Free? No. We call it the charity. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what is it? <laughs> yeah. The cat's out of the bag, so now you guys let us know. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a nonprofit organization that helps children battling cancer and life threatening illnesses. So it helps not only the kids in the US but also the kids from where we live, the Philippines. Wow, I want to donate. Sounds like a great cause. I, I do donate. Oh, that's right. We do donate. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yes, we should. Uh, ch- fellow change makers here. Yeah. But no, in all seriousness, so before we started Spread Good Squad, started campaign one at a time. And for the first few years, it was just me and some friends here in the States that would help when they could. And then as we started growing, I had a board member who introduced me to the Philippines. So even though I was Filipino, I'd never been there. And when I visited there and we helped so many kids there, I just fell in love. And we started hiring people out in the Philippines to help us with logistics, coordinating, campaign outreach. And I met Tanya, who, yep. what's four years now? Four yes, plus? just turned four years this July 15. Wow. So for everybody that follows Campaign One at a Time, Tanya basically runs the company. She's amazing. She's the <laughs> operations manager at Campaign One at a Time, has helped hundreds and hundreds of kids here in the States and overseas. And I had met Ren three years ago. Yeah, when 20, you visited the Philippines. 2020, yes. When 2020. we held the Jollibee, Jollibee party. event. Well, you you volunteered for, I think, two years, yes. right? And then last year, Ren applied with us, and here we are. Yep. One big dog show. That's what we call it. <laughs> it's a dog show. It's a dog show. It's a dog show. We've had a lot of really good times overseas, spreading good, traveling all over the Philippines. And... Yeah, it was just really important to get them over here this year. I feel like they've helped so many kids. You guys have helped so many people, and you never gotten to meet them. So it's like we're going to get you guys in the States yep. in 2023, and we made it happen, but it wasn't really the easiest journey. It's not. <laughs> it's not. So, so tell everyone how the visa process works or how it worked for you guys. So we started applying for a visa la- earlier this year, March. Mm-hmm. Then we... S- submitted all the requirements needed. Uh, we filled out the DS-160 form, so it is required to fill out before applying for a visa. What happened was we scheduled, we had a scheduled interview, July 3, Yep. in um, the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. So Ren and I were scheduled to go to the interview that day. What happened was um, Ren passed that interview and I got denied of a visa. So after that, we and we went outside. We discussed all the questions. We had all the same questions. We answered everything the same, mm-hmm. but we were we got kind of confused why I was denied since I've got like most travel, like more travel 
outside of the country than Ren. And I've worked with Campaign one at a time for, by that, uh, around that time, it was almost four years. Mm -hmm. So it's because it's July 3. So I don't know what I, why I got denied. Then I texted Brody that um, I didn't want to apply anymore because I was really sad about it. Um, but uh, Brody told me to apply again. Yeah. So I got a schedule in September. September 21st. 21st. So I was approved. I, I was only asked like five questions, uh, purpose of visit, um, where in the U.S., um, what is campaign one at a time, what's my job in campaign one at a time, and the countries that I traveled internationally. So then the consul gave me a thumbs up and said, just wait for the visa. So it was really, right after that, I don't know what the consul said, because I was really ecstatic, and I was really just excited to go out and meet Ren outside, because she was waiting for me. And I passed. Then the next thing I knew when the visa was delivered, I got 10 years multiple entry in the U.S. Um, that's it. 10 years. Yeah. But you got only, like, single entry? Yep. She got only single this entry. This time. This time. So we're going to reapply for Ren. Yes. So they could be the co-host of the Spreaker podcast. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> no, it's awesome having you guys here. Even, even for Katie and I, and I'm sure Nick as well, like, it was always a plan. But then, you know, we, when you didn't get approved and then like it was getting closer. And then even when you got approved, I honestly, I watched a lot of uh, that smuggling show. What is it called? Uh, How to Catch a Smuggler. Not oh. that we smuggled anything, but uh, well, other than this whole briefcase of snacks. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but no, I, I've watched that show and I've seen them have people come to the country. And for whatever reasons, you get turned back. So I didn't even scare you guys. But I thought in my head, I was like, watch them come all the way over here and then not be able to leave LAX. And I'll never forget, like, I hadn't even left my house yet because I thought immigration was going to take, like, three hours. They were both through in, like, ten minutes. Yep. It was amazing. It was a happy time. And where did we go right when we picked you up? We got to in and out in and out in and out and It was worth the 15-hour flight for me. 13-hour flight. It was 13-hour flight. flight for me. What yep. did you guys get? Burgers. We, Burgers. Got, I, we got the regular cheeseburgers. How was it? Merry Christmas. <laughs> so good. It's masara. It was so good. I masara. just said, I am out of words. I just said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. What was the first thing that you thought when you got out of the car and got to in and out Oh, actually, the first thing that I thought was when I saw the people, you know, I, I saw it all, a lot of people in the parking lot. I was like, whoa, everybody's white here. <laughs> It's true. There's it a lot. True. There's a lot. There's but a lot um, then there's me and Nick. So <laughs> we're representing out here. Oh, and Jared. And Jared. But, but he, he looks white. But, yeah. But he's white. Undercover. No, he's Filipino. Yeah. He's Filipino. But he's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> undercover. So, Wait, so yeah. So so how does it feel? I know you said it, it's amazing, but you guys have worked for uh, American companies. A lot of your friends probably work for American companies. How, how does it feel to actually have campaign one at a time, like sponsor you guys and bring you guys over? Um, I've worked for BPO companies in the Philippines probably for 12 years in a row. So when I got here because of campaign one at a time, and I'm not even like a year working for a campaign one at a time. So... I think I am the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Because I get to pass the interview for the visa first time. I got here in the U.S., even if I'm not, you know, still one year in campaign one at a time. And now I'm here doing podcasts with you, too. Yep. It's a great life. It's amazing. It really is. It's a great life. And I know Ren and I, we talked about this on our walk this morning, but... Working for those other companies, did you ever think there was a chance to travel to the States with those companies? or? No, never in my wildest dream. Yep. And yep. even with Campaign One at a Time, did you ever think there was a chance of coming to the States or was it like a surprise this year? It's a surprise. <laughs> surprise. Yeah, a lot, a lot of surprises for sure. Surprises, yep. yes. So what's on uh, the bucket list for the rest of the trip? You guys are here for a month. We've gone to In-N-Out. We've gone to Target. 
<laughs> I know it's that's where, part of our bucket okay. list. <laughs> so Seriously. Where else is the bucket list? My bucket list is I wanna eat hot dogs. The from one, Costco. The one dollar <laughs> hot dogs. The one dollar hot dogs. Yep. If not from Costco, it could be anywhere, just a hot dog stand. I just wanna eat hot dogs. That's why I got here. <laughs> She, yeah, she, you love hot dogs. dogs. Yeah, a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> you know what they call hot dogs over here? What? Glizzies. Glizzy. So you just say, can I have one glizzy? And they'll give you a hot dog. Oh, okay. Nice. That's good to know. Did you know that? I didn't know oh. that. I didn't know. Wow, Jared's Jared got that. all the words. Jared huh? knows it. First Rizzy can and I then get a glizzy. 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 Wow. All right. Wow. Like See? Small yeah. glizzy, big <laughs> glizzy. <laughs> I don't know if you need to specify Overcooked. the size of the glizzy. <laughs> Just say glizzy. <laughs> Overcooked glizzy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Jumbo kind of glizzy. Glizzy. I don't know. Jumbo I don't know what we're glizzy. talking about anymore. It's jumbo hot dog. <laughs> what are they? I don't know. Uh, something's lost in translation. Yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's a Filipino thing. <laughs> Tell us about it. What's the Filipino thing? The jumbo hot. <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, right. I want to know. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. So it's a song in the Philippines. Sing it. Jumbo hot dog. Kaya mo ba to? <laughs> Small, big, lazy. Can you do this? Can you handle this? <laughs> Can you handle this? <laughs> Seriously, it's a song in the Wait, Philippines. Wait, they say glizzy? No, no, no. She, oh. No, I just, she just oh, translated okay. it. But it's like, jumbo, hot dog, kaya mo ba to? Small, And muscular big, men lazy. are singing Can that. Can you handle this? So they're saying, jumbo, hot dog, can you handle this? Yeah. That is, <laughs> wow. It's kind of... Google it, know. jumbo, hot know. dog, Philippines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We guys, would like are you guys trying to get sponsored or what? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, no, I meant the we hot dog company. <laughs> Sorry. Both. Oh, both here though too. That, that, that's also, because I hear you guys are going to Virginia. Yes. That's your next stop? Yep, for a month. All right. Do you know where Virginia is? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna go wherever, wherever somebody I'm just says, gonna come go and wherever, visit. Wherever someone asks, hey, do you wanna come with us for a month? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so when you guys thought about America, what what is the first places that you thought of? Oh. Hollywood? No. Yep, Hollywood. Hollywood we haunted, sign. Yeah, Hollywood sign. Golden Ga- Golden Gate Bridge. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. What else? Um of course Disneyland, hello. Oh, Disneyland. Guys, take us to Disneyland. Yeah, you need a sponsor Disney for that. <laughs> give, give Where's support? the QR code when you need one? Like a QR code, guys. Sponsor us. <laughs> sponsor us. Sponsor us. Take us to Disney. <laughs> we know how to cook. We know how to cook. That is true. I that know how true. to make coffee. That is really true. Have you tried Ren's coffee yet? No. Nope. Oh, my gosh. I don't even drink coffee, and I've been drinking coffee every day. It's so good. <laughs> well, where's my invite? <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, no, we got to have some coffee for Nick, maybe maybe next episode. But for everybody listening in, maybe from the Philippines who haven't been to the States, people in the States who haven't been to the Philippines, what's been the difference in like everyday life or, you know, just getting up to go to work? Like, how's it, how's it different from here and there? Everything is fast paced. Here. Yes, everything is fast paced. Even the driving. I'm sp- Even the driving. <laughs> Tanya prays twice when I drive. <laughs> it's so scary here. Everyone is going fast, like. Um, every time that I'm sitting beside Brody when he drives, I just make the sign of a cross and I just pray to God that I, you know, <laughs> get safely to work. We Seriously. always pray that we don't go, go there earlier than scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> we don't meet God earlier than scheduled. <laughs> but, but like, so we've been doing walks in the park in the morning yeah. and you guys talk about you don't go walking in the Philippines like that. We, we don't, don't have that be- because kind of we park, don't have... Yes parks like that so yeah, where do you guys definitely. go walking where do well, you, you guys steps? walk to the store and stuff we go from our living room to the kitchen <laughs> here in the u.s i get like six thousand steps a day in the philippines less than 500 yes seriously wow yep sometimes it's even like 300 wow but because in the we- philippines you could be sitting there and sweating yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole that's time, true so. that's seriously. true well speaking of getting steps in they got to work out with uh my personal trainer, Oscar. Yes, Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Energy, energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We like Oscar. Yeah, they, they, yeah you do. You we like really him. like Oscar, but we don't want to meet him again. <laughs> Oscar, if first and last meeting. <laughs> Just don't go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar put him through it. They, 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 a lot of, a lot of sweating, a lot of reps. 
Yep. A lot of, <laughs> yeah. how would you say, energy, energy, right? Energy. Yeah, energy, energy. Let's go. Yeah. So, that a good workout with Oscar. We're heading up to Sacramento, uh, West Park, Roseville, to be exact. They're going to get F45 in with my sister. And then next weekend, they're going to get the camp in with Katie and our last the guest, Chris, Chris Hansen. Yeah. Nice. So, they got Oscar on the personal training, F45 this weekend, and Chris Hansen next week. So, you guys are just going to be jazzed when you head back. Please yes. Take us away from them. They will never want to work out again. Please take us away from them. I will have six packs before I go home. Six, six packs. packs of beers. I'm going to have six packs too. Of Pancit Canton. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of food, you guys literally brought a whole case. Yep. Of food. A whole suitcase of Filipino snacks. Is there anything that we can try for the first time here yep. in the pod? Yep. yep. You have it here. Surprise! What is that, like a <laughs> Filipino market? And a <laughs> What's your favorite? Wait, so why are they packed up like this? Are these individual packs? Yep. It costs uh, one peso in the Philippines. One peso? One peso. One piece for one peso. Wait, like one pack? No, yeah. For this one, one peso only. One Philippine peso, There's guys. There's over 50 pesos in a dollar. Yes. So you're telling me that's less than a, like two cents? Yep. Yeah. It's negative in dollars. So we <laughs> just, That's negative we just one eat dollars. It. Wait, we'll share this one so we can try other things. Of course. Yeah. What is this? Shanghai? Corn puff? Lumpia. Oh, Cheetos? Mm. Like sh- Cheetos. Cheetos, look. It's 90s. You 90s don't have to share, bro. It's, it's one cent. Have you tried hey. that, Nick? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is ASMR. Mm. Jared, get up in here. Yep. Wow. Is it good? Mm-hmm. You like it? Jared, I think you have some of these Filipino snacks, right? Yeah, I had some uh, like the other day. Dried mangoes. Oh, these are huge. Is it? That's yeah. a jumbo hot dog. Big right. glizzies. <laughs> oh yeah, the chocolate. How about the choco choco? Mm. Fire, huh? Chocolate nut, choc nut. Yep. <laughs> with, have this with your glizzy. <laughs> have that with your glizzy. Come on. Oh my gosh, there's actual. Yes, it's melted chocolate. It's just chocolate. My my daughter likes that. Are you serious? Yeah. Seriously. So it's like Nutella in a packet. Uh, yeah. Is there is there wait? Wait. Can you uh, I'm gonna have some oh, chocolate. Oh, corn chip. Well, your bags are so portion sized. Yep. I'm gonna have some chocolate. That's good. Chocolate and Tommy. Do you have any more of the chocolate? Choc? The calories are so tiny on here. I can't read it. 30 grams. It's not meant to be read. It's not meant to be read. 170 calories for this little piece of... Maybe it's like for the whole pack. Still the whole pack. I could have a meal for 170 calories. No, no. This is vegan, so I'm good. (laughs) But I'm going to try it anyways. You should try this, the Choco Choco. This is the uh, kids. I can't believe this little palm-sized pack is 170 calories. What's in here? This is tiny chocolate glizzy. (laughs) You and the glizzy, bro. (laughs) Let's try this. This is so good. You just have to press the chocolate out. Whoa. No wonder they're 170. That's good. Chloe likes that. Uh-huh. Yep. Wow. This is great, guys. What do you have? Tommy sweet yep. corn? So these are like Fritos. Do you Cage guys have Frito Cage legs? Cage likes this. Yep. Yeah, Cage likes that. Wow. So, Nick, you've been to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. How many times have you gone? Mm, I think five times. Okay. I went as a little kid, as a teenager, and then two or three times as an adult, (laughs) young adult. Are you born and raised in the Philippines? No, born born and raised in Long Beach. Oh. Ooh, barbecue marinade. All right. Yep. Yep. I would like to shout out High Top, the grocery <laughs> store room, where we got all this. <laughs> Maybe you would like good. to sponsor us coming back here. We're eating good over here. That's good. Really yep. good. No, but speaking about going as an adult, so I've only gone as an adult. Yep. Did you go out in the Philippines? Mm-hmm. Like to bars and stuff? Like we're at, like Makati yep. or? Yep. Yep. Mm. My, uh, one of my good friends is a basketball player out there and then... You have some DJs that know where to go. So you hang out with like Neo and stuff, huh? Sure. Doesn't he party out there? Oh, I don't know. Oh, doesn't Neo go? Neo? Yeah. 
I'm not sure. Neo who? Neo Mad. <laughs> Neo Mad? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if he parties there. I just know he, like, has concerts. Mm. Yep. Nice. My my biggest or most memorable memory of the Philippines is when I was a little kid. When I was like seven years old, it was raining. And then they told us to shower in the rain. And it was all muddy. We just got naked on the streets, showering in the, in the rain. And it felt great. It's a but thing in the Philippines. That's my most memorable moment in the Philippines. Funny enough, one of my most memorable is the first time I went there before in Utania yep. and Ren. I had another team member out there. And I remember I got an Airbnb and he's like, oh, can I stay with you for the weekend? I was like, of course. Um, and I thought the big deal was because I had air conditioning, which is, I guess a lot of people don't have air conditioning. So he's yep. so excited. He's like, oh, you have air con. I was like, oh, come on. And then I remember he's like, can I take a shower? I was like, yeah. He was in the shower for like an hour. And then he came out and he showed, he's like, yeah, because at my place I don't have a shower. They have a tabo. Yep. It's just a bucket. Oh, I should have bought my tabo. Yeah. We bought. Here's one. Tabo <laughs> here. Yeah. Filipinos we, represent. Yeah, we bought tabo. Yeah. So that, I remember just thinking about that. Like, this is like, um, like luxury. To have yeah, like this a, a is very shower. different in the Philippines. Yeah. And then also Katie's probably most memorable <laughs> moment is we went to Batangas one of the years and we're at this resort and the water just turns off. <laughs> so she can't take a shower. It was like halfway through. <laughs> So the water just turns off everywhere or just certain places? No, there's places. Um, this thing with resorts where in they don't have um, 24-7 water 24/7 supply. Water. Yes. Mm -hmm. water supply because they are not, um, I don't know, they maybe have just a tank where in they schedule. collect all the water so they schedule, they schedule from time to time to turn it off so that they can, you know, collect water. Yep. Oh, my most memorable moment as an adult is driving around, um, kids jumping on the cars, asking for money, and also all the signs that say, don't be here, and people are just being there. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, bro, it says don't be here, and they're just being there. Well, yep. another one is, I'll never forget, the ambulance, the sirens going, yep. dead stop traffic, nobody moves. Yeah. So just, ee -ee -ee, and they just sit there. I'm like, there's like somebody dying in there. Nobody's yeah. gonna move. Yep, they don't yeah. care. They don't care. They don't That's care. That's why you need to be healthy in the Philippines. <laughs> that's why. Unless you want to die. That's why you can't <laughs> eat all these snacks. Yeah, that's why we gotta stop eating all these snacks. <laughs> You're not in the Philippines though. <laughs> you true. can't eat it. You're right. Yep. And then I remember uh, actually the first time I went to the Philippines as well, I didn't bring any cash with me because I just assumed I could just use my credit, credit card, card yep. which you can for the most part. But we needed cash. I think we we're going on an excursion or something. Yes. And the first two banks I went to, they were like, sorry, we ran out of money. Yep, that there happens. There was no money in the ATM. That happens. Yeah. So I, I was literally, I had no money the first day and a half in the Philippines. Luckily, I had friends that helped me out. But yeah, no money. It happens. That was crazy to me. Like, what was I supposed to do if I was by myself? You True. gotta drive a, drive a Jeep motorcycle me. around. Jeep me. Get some money. Drive a motorcycle around. What's it called? Unc Uncast? Uncast. Yeah. Uncast. Uncast. And there you guys don't have Uber, you have Grab, right? We have Grab. We had we Uber have before. Uber before. But I, I think um, they revoked the license, the franchise, I think, or the license. The, yeah. I, I don't know what mm. you call it. So, so we have before Grab. Before it was called um, the luxury ride because you can't have an Uber account or do Uber rides without a credit card. So in the Philippines, the only people that get the credit cards are rich people or apparently the ones that has uh, capacity for to pay for it wow yeah yeah so if you don't have like good credential scores or whatsoever you're not gonna get a credit card that makes sense <clears throat> life is different it's out life there is true very life is different. different life is really different out there and smoggy out there smoggy. <laughs> and polluted it's gray there. filtered in the philippines <laughs> it's gray yeah. filtered there's gray filter yep. in the philippines so what's been your favorite part about being here so far for me it's um meeting the families that i've worked with like 
um, seeing the families that saying, oh, Tanya, nice to finally meet you, like finally a face to the name. So that's what I've been hearing when I met them um, during the gala. So it was very, very fun for me, very fulfilling. Yeah, I can't Same. wait to meet the other families. For those who have invited us to stay over at their place, invited us to birthday parties. Thank we'll you guys there. so much. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Friends, like we have RSVP'd for all of them. <laughs> we have so house many houses here in the the states. A lot of sponsors. Virginia, Arizona, San Diego, San Diego, yep. Sacramento. Sacramento. Where is um, Kai's family? Fallbrook. Fallbrook. Yeah. Yeah, we're welcome. Yeah, so they'll be here for a couple years. Yep, Just and, and Nick's house too. We're welcome. Oh yeah, there. Nick's a sponsor. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, stay there for sponsor. two Come months. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm over. There we go. I need I need help. We need some yayas. Yep. Yeah, we got that covered. We love kids. We love so kids. You're not gonna have a problem. As long right. as we can return them, you know. I have, uh, <laughs> but we, have maybe. A, we have a plethora of kids, so you can yeah. take care of them. Just watch out. If you can still meet meet them again, because we might get them. Because <laughs> they, they end up liking us. I don't know. Chloe stay in the oh, room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. many Chloe hours? Chloe does not want to go home. Yep. Yeah, That's you cool. you guys. Yeah, Chloe yeah. loves them. We need, we need the help. So. Do we get paid? Sure. <laughs> An honest question. Sure. <laughs> Extra moolah. Man, on camera too. Sure. Extra I got I gotta ask guys, my wife. That's recorded. I, I we don't, get paid. I don't take care of the. Finances. Five hundred dollars per hour. Wow. Five hundred dollars per hour. What? Whoa. Uh, I don't even get paid that. What? <laughs> Looks like the trip is over. <laughs> but I, you know, one thing I've noticed is working with you guys or living with you guys. We've been roommates, obviously, last week. You guys get up early. I think it's a thing. It's like a thing. because we're living in someone else's home, I feel like it's kind of rude for them to like see us in the living room still sleeping. So yeah, with, I don't with know. You guys, we don't you know, like that. Around, with you so. guys, yeah. oh, we don't mind. But we mind. We mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so nice. Every morning they wake up and make. They call her Mima hotcakes. Yep. Yep. We make Mima coffee for uh, Katie. Coffee. coffee, and then when I go to the gym, and then Tanya makes breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. It's like wow, you guys are amazing. Yep. And they go help and spread good yep. you know, for all the kids. Yeah. And then um, you guys hang your towels on the on the. <laughs> no, on the it's, oh, we actually did laundry that. yesterday. <laughs> it's always oh, <it's> a joke. <laughs> You're the is only this? one that's hanging laundry on the balcony. It's squishy. I wanted to, but I'm shy. <laughs> it's Ren, a Filipino thing. Ren is not shy. She's the most popular person on my Instagram right <laughs> yep. now. I think I'm getting new followers because of Ren. Yep. I do this thing called Daily Dose of Ren, and she says the wildest things. Yeah. It's so great. It's so great. What but, kind of air do you breathe, Ren? I'm breathing the same air with Taylor Swift right now. <laughs> so if you want to sponsor me to do a concert, meet um, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Or Robert Downey Jr. What? Oh, Captain America. That's our favorite Spider Man. Artist. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. We have like different tastes. Mine is Liam Neeson. Liam yep. Neeson? Yep. I love ne Liam Neeson. If I can oh, like so watch one movie, like just one movie for the rest of my life, it would be like Taken. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> watch that movie Taken every day for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yep. It's I used to watch the Justin Bieber documentary every day. Maybe that was too soon. Never mind. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I did though when it came out believe I watched that maybe twice daily I was so inspired oh why oh have you guys ever seen it no nope. no plan <laughs> have you seen it Jared? what is that oh it's good it's the Justin Bieber documentary how he like got famous when he was like 12 how old was he when he did that 15 16 oh. yeah it really nope. good. it was great it was great but what are some of your favorite Filipino dishes and some of your favorite American dishes that you've tried so far in and out. <laughs> in and out. Every meal, in and out. In and out. We love burgers. For the Filipino dish, it would be sinigang. So it's pork it's like with a dough. sour broth. <clears throat> it's like a sour soup. <clears throat> sour soup, yeah. And with a adobo. bunch of um, veggies in it. Yep. So Tomatoes. What's the soup that we have at Mangan Asal? That's sinigang. Oh, that's the sinigang. sinigang soup. Okay. Yeah. No, actually, they're trying to copy kansit because if we it, had kansit did we had kansit it's, it's gonna Morocco? be like a whole different topic to talk about Filipino food but <laughs> yep. um Mang Nasal originated in Bacolod if I'm not yeah, mistaken they're trying to 
do um, a mix of um, sour broth and like the nilaga. Is that it? Yeah, it's 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 can see we're in. It's a mix of um, sinigang and bulalo. Oh yeah, bulalo. So if you know those two dishes, if it's gonna be mixed into one, it's gonna be heaven, because sinigang and bulalo is so good. Have that, you had those? That's what. Yeah. That's um. They're different, but they're different, if you mix but them. yeah, if you so mix them, so that's what Mangasol is trying to do. Yeah, that's they're trying to do, but you know. Because it's it's free and all that stuff, so it's that's only, why it, yes, only it's rice. unlimited, oh. only soup. Have you been among us all? No, but so maybe good. I've been to so something good. like it, but I don't like rice. So oh man, I love it. You don't like rice? No, sea sig all day. For an Asian guy, you don't. Yeah, like rice? I mean, I used to like rice, but Damn. I don't want to eat rice all day. Damn. <laughs> what's <laughs> what's with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's What's funny. with you? I didn't What's eat any wrong? rice for like three years, I feel like. And then me and Rice, or me, me and Rice, <laughs> me, and, me and Katie pulled out the rice cooker like a year ago and it has not gone back in the shelf. It's fire. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Because yeah. I, I, I grew up my whole life, I ate rice. Eggs and rice, steak and rice, rice and rice. rice I would just rice. eat so rice much rice. rice. And then when I got all, you know, into like fitness and stuff, I like completely cut rice. But not anymore. Letting when myself it, go now that I'm engaged. When you know, did you so. start eating rice again? Like early, a year ago. Early, oh, a mm-hmm. year ago. Nice. Yeah. Maybe a year and a half now. Yeah, yeah. Because me and Walter started going to poke at the last office. Oh, yeah. And okay. it was game over. Game oh, yeah. We had poke you. for the first time together, right? Yep. That's my first. About yep. to have a lot of poke this week. Yep. Where were some places you want to take them while they're here? I feel like you guys should go to Vegas. We yep. are. Um, you guys are already going to the Bay. <clears throat> you guys should go to New York, but... I want to Sponsor. go to New York Sponsor. for the hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah, Sponsor. just get glizzies all every <laughs> everywhere. Glizzies. Small glizzies. Jumbo glizzies. Big glizzies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man. <laughs> New York, here they come. New York, New here York, they come. here I come for the but glizzies. Have you guys been to Hollywood already? Not yet. No, no. Oh, yet. They're going next week, right? Uh, With Marie? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so... So yeah, a lot of plans. We got three weeks left. Wow. It's been a long week here at Spread Good HQ. Gonna have some more fun. But wow, yeah, excited to have you guys here. It's gonna be an adventure. So Ren, Ren, they're both supposed to go on November 2nd. Ren's confident she will stay till January 2nd. <laughs> there you go. Ren will find a way. I will find a way. You gotta f- figure out how to swim. <laughs> yes. I don't know what the saying is. True. You wanna figure out how to swim? Just swim. <laughs> There you, there you go. go. How about for those who doesn't know how to swim? Still swim. <laughs> drown, <laughs> drown, and learn. Drown, and you'll learn how to swim. <laughs> so uh, a month ago, when we were really starting to push this podcast, we were at like 600 subscribers, and I, Ren and Tanya, had this idea to do a raffle. Once we got to 800 subscribers, we're at 837 subscribers right now. So Tanya and Ren, I know you got some ongoing raffles going with some friends. I think we should do something fun once we get to a thousand. Yep. Seeing so, you're here. Filipino people, let's go to 1,000 <laughs> subscribers, subscribers for the spread. Even, if you're, Filipino, you, yes, even if you're not Filipino. Yes, even if you're not well. Filipino, guys. Hey, how about this? How about this? If we can get Spread Good Squad to 1,000 YouTube subscribers in the next week, okay, from this launch, Tanya and Ren will go to Disneyland. Hey, guys, you better follow as soon as possible. (laughs) Hey, guys, come on. I'm representing the Philippines. Representing the Philippines, guys. Let's go and Better represent. What do you think? I think it's great. I'm down, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, Nick's sponsoring. So it's a done (laughs) deal, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. It's always me. If you liked what you saw. Thank you, Nick. Please be sure. It's recorded, remember. Nick, sup, Nick. (laughs) Sup, Nick. Sup, Nick. (laughs) <laughs> Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. smash the bell. And for fun, yep. how do you say this in Tagalog? Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's too long. It's, it's this. Oh, my God. It's hard. I'm shocked. <laughs> Is it just please like, comment, subscribe? Yeah. Is that the same it's way? The same, it's the same way. I thought so. I thought so. Mag like, kayo, mag subscribe kayo. What else? What was what is it? Kung gusto nyo pang mahalin kayo ng nanay nyo, <laughs> ilike kayo at mag subscribe kayo. If you want kayo. your mommy to love you. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, subscribe live guys no for real let's get these two to disneyland yep thank you so much for spreading good with us 
Till next time, I'll meet some more snacks. Bye. Later.